This document defines some basically a script macros for dealing and experimenting with the semantic web technologies, such as querying SPARQL and or dealing with RDF in the form of Turtle. Others are about to come. This template is mainly based on Communica and open source knowledge graph querying framework. I hope in the future, there will be more functions available. At the moment it is possible to execute and edit code blocks with SPARQL queries. There are three ways to use this template. The easiest way is to use the import statement and the URL of the raw text file of the master branch or any other branch or version. But you can also copy the required functionality directly into the header of your markdown document. See there for the last slide. And of course, you could also clone this project and change it as you wish. What is actually needed to make your markdown code snippets with SPARQL executable and editable? Not much is simply add the following comment to the head of your markdown document. And finally attach the macros functions, which are defined by this document, to the end of a code block. You can define as much code blocks as you want. Currently you can use two macros, which can also be tweaked a bit. We will describe them both within this section. Add the macro at Communica. SPARQL to the end of your SPARQL query to make it executable and editable. You can add as much blocks as you want to. The result will look as follows. You can execute it, change the code of the query and go back and forth between your version. And to some extent also the errors are propagated to the user. As you have seen earlier, it is possible by you and by your user to define the sources for your query. Simply add one or multiple comments of the following form into your code block. If you use a one-liner, your sources have to be separated by one space. It is possible to define different output formats simply by adding in comment of the form hash format. Underscore. The default format is currently table. However, you can overwrite this by one of the following media types. All possible formats are defined here. However, currently it only possible to use a subset of them, which are highlighted in the table. It is possible also to define your own files and to query them by combining two markdown blocks in conjunction. The first contains your turtle file, while the second code block contains your query. The text behind the language definition is used as a title for your code block, whereby a starting plus or defined whether the editor view should be opened or closed. It is still possible to add different sources or to change the output format, as described before. All the functionality is defined within the main comment of this document. It makes use of the TypeScript functions defined in src index ts which defines a global object window rdf. If you want to build this project by your own, then follow the following instructions.